My very first experience with Miss Saigon was when I was 17. It was my very first musical that I ever saw. It was the first time I saw Asian actors on stage. It was quite life-changing. I am Vietnamese American. My mom was 17 when she first met her husband, who was an American GI, and so the story of Miss Saigon is pretty spot on the story of my mom. As a Vietnamese actor, there are really no words to really describe the importance of my job. Authenticity was a big one for me coming in, especially in today's climate. I wanted to keep it as real as possible. So we've kind of infiltrated the company and the cast and done our best to educate everyone in manners and things to say and things not to say and what a Vietnamese person would say and do rather than what was written in the script in English and then directly translated. Matthew and I have done a lot of work in making sure that our body language and a lot of the things that we do are true to our culture because not only are we representing our families, but mm -hmm. we're representing the Vietnamese culture as a whole. I do hope this audience sees the play for its narrative because it's a lovely narrative and the music is lovely, the cast are amazing, but I do hope they look beyond that and see the underlying themes that can be applied all over the world at any time. It's not just a love story between a man and a woman, it's a love story between a mother and child, a love story between mother and country. There's just so many themes in it. If you take a step back and look away from just the love story, it, it really just applies to anywhere, and especially now in today's climate. This is something that's so important that we were able to portray on stage the truth, and I hope that there is a sense of honor. I am incredibly honored to perform on stage every night and to represent my country in a way that is not represented in any other show.